Hello everyone. Welcome to another video of reference management tool that is Jotero. In this video we are going to discuss about this tool to manage our references in a very effective way and also where else Jotero can be used to manage our intellectual output while writing the research paper effectively in a very organized manner. So, Jotero is a free citation manager you can say which was developed by the Center for History and New Media at the George Mason University in 2006. And Jotero is designed to store, manage and cite bibliographic references such as books and articles. And these references constitutes an item. Jotero works as both standalone as well as add-on for the Firefox browser and Jotero can be installed and can be made functional in different operating systems such as window operating system, Linux operating system and also it can be used on Mac OS. Some of the very important features which differentiate and keep in the powerful category of the reference management tool. Jotero helps to capture the citation information from web pages automatically. It also helps to record the note with auto save feature. It helps to store PDF files, images, links, and whole web pages. Some of the time when we browse through different databases, through different full text databases and the full text databases contain PDF files. So these PDF files which are available freely open in open access category, the Jotero helps to retrieve those PDF files and also organize to access. It helps to search the material in Jotero library with effective searching technique. It exports the item in the different citation style. It also integrate can be integrated with Microsoft Word and OpenOffice which both means OpenOffice, LibreOffice it helps to search the document or the item available in the Jotero library with advanced searching features. Some of the very known items are taken care by Jotero and those are books, articles, documents to web pages, artworks, films, sound recordings, PDF files, YouTube videos, all these are the item which can be taken care by Jotero very easily and it also helps to organize them category wise and can be made searchable with the help of tagging and other option. We'll be talking about the Jotero in detail in the another videos. What can be done with items? This is the layout of Jotero. Item appears in the center column. Let me explain here that Jotero after installation looks like this. The Jotero interface is divided into three items, left pane, center pane and right pane. The first left pane is divided top and bottom where the top we organize there are ready-made 
options available like my library which contains some of the ready reference option like my publication duplicate item and trash below that there is a provision to store the tag which we create at the time of adding the item the center pane which is most important where we keep the or attach the add the item and the right pane that contains the metadata it is quite similar to the Mendeley reference management tool item appears in the center column and the item which is appearing in the center column the metadata for that item is displayed in the right column and this includes titles creator publisher date doi and any other data needed to cite the item so these are the these features which can be done with item in order to use jotero you need to install first and for installation we will be talking about the installation procedure in the next video but here we are going to have a very brief information Jotero will run on any operating system and it needs one browser preferably Mozilla Firefox or it can also support in Chrome and Safari in order to install first you need to go to the particular website www.jotero.org and then you click the download button to get the software at your computer or if it allows you are using the browser you can also add on use add on plugin Jotero plugin which can be integrated directly to the browser and directly in the browser itself Jotero can be used for site referencing or for reference management I mean to say that installation can be done as a standalone and also with add-on facility once it is done you just restart the Firefox or the Jotero if you have installed on a standalone system and you will find observe on the browser right side that a Jotero button appears the same way if you are going to use Jotero and also willing to cite the references in your articles for that you need to install the citation plugins which are available on Jotero website and these allow you to easily cite items in your papers some of the work which we do with the help of Jotero that is the first one is the we capture the item Jotero or Chrome or Safari whatever you are using before we use we install the connector for these browsers which connects the item directly to the Jotere online library and it is very simple to create new item from information available on the internet if a capture icon appears in the address bar Jotero can automatically create by clicking an item of the appropriate type and populate the metadata fields where you can modify the metadata if a full text is available it will be automatically attached to the item or if you are adding the item manually so you can also add the PDF file from your stored location which will be which will be attached to your added item in the Jotero library as I mentioned that we can add item manually we will be talking all these in detail in the next video you, we can cite item in word with the help of citation style language it is very important to understand here that 
Jotero supports all the major styles, very popular styles throughout the world like Chicago, APA and uh, many more or any specific journal citation style, it supports all, can be integrated in the word file or in your paper. Jotero Word and OpenOffice plugin especially allows users to insert citation directly from their word processing software and also helps to create the bibliography whatever the citation they have used in their paper. Manual bibliographies can also be prepared and automatic bibliographies can also be prepared with the help of Jotero. We will be talking about in the uh, next video in detail. The when we create the user ID and password for using the Jotero online, the same can be synchronized with the standalone installed Jotero, which will connect with the online Jotero library. So, these are some of the very important things which we are going to talk about Jotero in order to manage our references and intellectual outputs. Apart from all these, Jotero can also be used to create group for collaborative work which can also be shared with the help of group libraries to collaboratively manage research sources and materials either online or through the Jotero client and Jotero can also be the hub of all the projects, group research, communication and organization. So I hope I have been able to clarify some of the things about Jotero and how it is going to be used in order to manage our research output. So thanks for watching this video. In next video we are going to see how we can install Jotero and manage our research out outputs. Thank you very much.